Hello Melons, it is Friday and I am at Timucua, um, which I'm always delighted to be at. It's one of my favorite places in Orlando. And I am here for a stage reading of a show called Queen of Swords. It is a new musical and it is about Julie D'Aubigné. I'm probably not saying any of that right. Uh, <laughs> who was a French noblewoman who became a master swordswoman uh, and is also known for being bisexual. And so I'm super stoked for this. Uh, it is a person and a historical figure that I only recently learned about. Maybe actually the same way that Tom learned about her in a YouTube video. <laughs> um, that was fascinating. And now there's a whole musical about it and I'm super stoked to watch. I will check in with you if there's an intermission. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end of the show so we can talk about it. And don't worry, this show is still happening tomorrow and you can get streaming tickets that I think let you do video on demand. So I will put the link to all of that down there and you should check it out. It is currently intermission. Uh, the show is fantastic. The cast is incredible, has been giving really, really great performances. And I knew I'd love the story uh, because I love the story of Julie, like as a historical figure, uh, but it's heartbreaking to watch it played out in a very different way than it is when you just hear about it or read about it. Uh, so it has been glorious. The music is very catchy. Already I've been humming some stuff and I think that I really, really wanna see this full out. Like the reading has been really fun. It's very engaging. It's great to hear the music and see the emotion from all the performers. But man, my brain is just turning about how it would look actually fully fledged in a production on stage. And I can't wait for that to eventually uh, be what happens. Uh, a surprise for me is that Emma, who was going to be playing Julie, is not here this evening. So Mackenzie Joe, who I adore, is playing <laughs> Julie and then is still the vocal as a recorded performance of the mother, which has been interesting when she sings a duet with herself. And it still works. So I am having an absolutely incredible time. Like I said, there's still a performance tomorrow and you can buy live stream tickets, even if you can't come out here. So no matter where you're watching this from, you could check out this new show and you absolutely should. So link down there to check them out. I'm gonna go back in for what I'm sure will be an even more enjoyable act too. <laughs> The show has finished. Uh, somehow act two was better than act one. I couldn't tell you how that happened. Uh, I mean, I can because uh, the love story gets more intense and because the performers only get better. I cannot stress enough that this show is incredibly enjoyable. Even in just a read like this, you get the energy, you get the story. I was laughing a lot. Uh, I was crying. People who are more prone to crying than I am were sobbing. Uh, I just don't happen to be that sort of crier, but I think that it is an incredibly emotional piece and it has a really lovely message. Uh, there's a turn in act two that I'm not going to spoil for you, uh, but it does sort of change the tone of the story a little bit uh, and really creates a beautiful ending message that I think was incredibly important when they conceptualized the show and is vitally important now, especially in the state of Florida. A shout out to incredible performers, Mackenzie Joe, who performed as Julie slash Lama Pen, was great. Uh, Brian Yeager was very, very enjoyable in all of his roles. Jarrett Poole literally never fails to make me laugh. That man can do anything and I will giggle. He's so funny at all moments, incredibly engaging. Uh, I fell in love with Matt Stevens on that stage. I absolutely came to the show to watch women love women. And then I fell in love with the guy playing the male character. So that's uh, just the evening I had. Uh, and absolutely incredible performance too from uh, Carrie Ringer. Uh, and I enjoyed every moment from start to finish. 
and you absolutely should too. Like I said, there's a link down there. If you are local to Orlando, get your ticket for tomorrow night, come and watch it in person. If you are not local to Orlando, get your live stream ticket and watch it online from the comfort of your own home. Many times I plan to buy a live stream ticket and watch it again. It's worth it. And I will see you tomorrow. Last time I was there, mine were.